Section 2 of If You Lived in Colonial Times is going to have us talking about food and manners. So our first question here is, what did the colonists eat? Well, corn was a main staple. The Native Americans taught them how to plant corn, and they also taught them how to plant things like pumpkin and squash. So those, those foods became a, a huge part of the, the colonists' diet. Native Americans also showed them how to get maple sap from a maple tree. And they would turn this maple sap into maple sugar or even maple syrup to help sweeten their foods. The colonists also had, um, also went fishing and hunting. The men and boys went fishing and hunting. Um, and during those cool days before the winter was set in, um, it was a very busy time for all the colonists. They were working extra hard to get ready. So they were taking things like the fish and the meat um, that the men and boys got when they went hunting and fishing. Um, and they would salt that and they would um, preserve it and pickle it. That way it could be used later on. They also took some fruits and they peeled those fruits and they, they dried them out and used them throughout the winter time as well. One of the more fun parts that this, you guys will enjoy is about the manners of you children when you had to sit down and uh, and eat. And today, usually dinner time is sometimes thought of as a time to sit down and talk with your family um, and share stories about your day and how things are going. Uh, but then you could not talk. You were not. Speak not was a rule you had to follow. And not only could you not speak and tell whether the food was good or the food was bad, um, you usually didn't even sit down. You had your meal standing up. Um, there weren't many, you know, everything that you made back then, or everything that you had, you made. So there wasn't a chair for everybody. Um, so you would end up sitting while, or standing while you were eating. You Also another rule, sing not, hum not, wriggle not, don't move around, don't really even make any noise whatsoever. Uh, you are not supposed to be heard breathing or, or, or chewing um, at the dinner table. In many homes, only one big pot was used, was placed in the center of the table, and that's where all the food was kept. Uh, so you would use your spoon or, or even fingers to reach in and take whatever food uh, was being served that day. Your plate which was something you probably shared with a brother or a sister, was called a trencher. Uh, you didn't have your own trencher. That would seem too fancy. Um, and remember, everything was made. So uh, you would have shared your, your plate as well. And it was just a, a wooden block that was sat in front of you um, for dinner time. Uh, section 3 will be about colonial schools. Uh, so that will be an interesting topic to talk about next.